All right, so now let's talk about reshaping arrays. And so there's a few questions here on just reshaping some of the arrays that, that we have right now. So the first question is, create a range from one to 16 and reshape it into a two by eight array. So two rows, eight columns, an array that contains um, these 16 elements. So first we need to create an array. We don't actually have one right now. How would we create an array from one to 16? So if you looked and watched at some, watched some of my other videos, we, we went over this function called a range. So if I call the numpy, the numpy library, and I'm gonna use this function called a range, the first parameter in the a range is just as it says up here, the start, the stop, the step, and then also the D type if we want to uh, add that in. So we're gonna actually just start at one and we want uh, to create a range from one to 16. So again, I've drilled this concept numerous times. The stop value, the stop parameter is always exclusive. And so if we want to display the number 16, we want the range to go to 17 because seven, it's gonna exclude the number 17 and it will show the number 16. So I'm gonna type in 17 here Right, and so let's just see if this is this is what we want to start out with. And this is exactly right, right? It's creating a range from starting at one, going all the way to 16. This is how, how I, I think you should approach solving problems also. You should take it in a stepwise fashion. So if, if you read this question here, it says create a range from one to 16 and shape it into a two by eight array. There are two steps to this question. So cr first create a range from one to 16 and just make sure it works. So I just executed this line of code just to make sure that my function and the values I put into, in the, into the parameter actually work when I execute that. And then what I wanna do next is reshape it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just string the next function to this, to essentially this uh, line of code. And I'm gonna use the reshape function and I'm gonna tell it like what I want. I want a two row, I want a, an array that gives me two rows and eight columns. And so I'm gonna just type in the size now, which is gonna be, I'm gonna start with another parentheses and I'm gonna type in two rows, eight columns. And remember Python always does rows first, that's two rows and then columns last, that's gonna be eight columns. So if I do this, I should get a two by eight array and that's exactly what I get. I get two rows, eight columns. All right, now we're gonna reshape X1 and from uh, from this notebook at the very top, I create, there are some lines of code where I create three arrays, X1, X2 and X3. If you run that code block, you should have X1 already here. And so if I, if I just wanna double check, I have X1 reshape x1 into a two-dimensional column using slice notation um, np new axis. So actually, if, if I did, don't make this change already, it actually should say one-dimensional one dimensional column using slice notation and np new axis, right? So in the link, when you open up this Python notebook, the change should already be there. And so you can basically just disregard what the last five seconds uh, were, were showing. So what I wanna do is kind of just transpose this array. I want, instead of one row, I want, a, I want one column. And so what I'm gonna do is use new N, uh, NP new axis, which is what it's asking me to do here. And so from the videos before, I introduced this concept. And so the nomenclature, the syntax for that is X1, I want basically all the rows and I'm gonna just type in NP new axis in the column portion of this index and it's just gonna transpose everything. So this one row now is one column and that, that's essentially done.